But but what I did want to share, I think is really important um, for your mm. listeners, is that getting the having the 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 desire and the push to get the business starting. If you have that, your entrepreneur mindset, you got it. But that's not really the key to sustain. The key to sustain is all the moving parts that you did not expect. You have to battle through those too. Say that again. Because oh. didn't I just tell you this last week? <laughs> I had to battle through the rough, tough day that I had. And I just said these exact same words that I had to battle through it. I'm fighting through it. I am trying to get through it, and people don't understand it. You have to fight. There's a lot of moving parts, and people think just because you offer a product and, or a, a, a service, service that that's all you have to do. No, that has to. that's only a smidget, if even 5% of you have to make sure the legal is on point. you got to make sure the liability waivers are on point. you got to make sure there's so many, whatever industry you're in, you know, um, I suggest work in that industry first. Mm-hmm. You know, check out that industry. Or with, if you're in corporate America, because corporate America helped me because I was in operations to understand mm. all the moving parts. There's a lot of moving parts, and that's what deters people from continuing in their business, and they wind up giving up and calling it failure. I don't think it's failure. It's just that you're not prepared and know that be expecting that there's a lot of other moving parts that you need to be aware of. You got to do your taxes. You get, if you have people that you hire, you got to do 1099s. You have to um, if you if you look around your circle in your circle of friends or family, that you probably have you probably have somebody who does legal. <laughs> you probably have somebody who does taxes. You probably so you have to look around and see where can you pull resources um, from. Like the teachers that I hired, one of them was an attorney. When I needed a letter written, I was like, hey, you know, she she, she was the one who, who wrote it. So use the resources that you have. They don't have to know all your business about the business, but you just say, hey, you know, I can, if you want to. In other words, she's telling you guys to network. Yes. And get it together and network with your yes. options. 